Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Go. Yes. Over here. Uh, Look who it is. It's uh, Ben. Hey. Say, do your thing. Oh. What's cracking like it, y'all? I'm Ben Newhouse, owner proprietor of Snake Oil Provisions in Long Beach, California. This is SOP Digest. Bam. Look at this jacket I'm wearing. Yeah, I bumped the camera. That's OK. OK. What do you think about this jacket? I like the jacket. This is this is what we'd like to call. Do the smoothing thing more. That's very sensual. A little bit more of this? Yeah. It's like a you body, probably wanna, well, body wash You added. probably want to play some like uh, Al Green behind this. Yeah. When Luther Vandross. Oh, Luther. Yeah. Rest in power. Yes, indeed. Or paradise, wherever you're at. Sure. They talk about stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This here is a uh, flathead motorcycle asymmetrical jacket. Can I interject here briefly? Yes. That's a handsome garment. I appreciate that. Yeah. This is a, it, not only is it handsome, but this is, this is one of my dream garments. Okay. When I first discovered this brand, I don't even know how many moons ago, I don't know, years and years and years ago, I wanted this. Okay. From my own self. Sure. Is that your personal jacket this right there? This is my own personal jacket. Okay. We have a few to sell. Yeah. Uh, we've sold a, There's two left. People have been buying them. You're going to get more? No. No, never? No. They don't. No. Flathead doesn't make uh, extras. Okay. They only produce what's ordered. I understand. So we'll have them again next spring. Okay. Ooh. So people should jump on this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so here's what happens. Check this out. With this jacket, yeah, you get this. Hold it up there. You seen it? I can see it. Sweet keychain you can put on your motor pickle keychain. Oh, nice. Goes with your Harley key, your Triumph key, or whatever you yeah. drive there. So buy a keychain, you get a free jacket. Yeah, that's kind of the deal. That's yeah. kind of what we want the people to know key about. Keychain costs two thousand dollars. Nineteen fifty. Nineteen fifty. So here it is in full rocketeer mode. Yeah. Hey, that's a good. Uh, a good uh, reference there. Yeah. Well, Remember Jack, that flick with I the do. flying Jack guy? Conley. Yeah. She's a handsome woman. Yeah. She's a good looking gal. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, this is zi all zipped up when I'm riding my hog. Yeah. Around town. Sure. Or if we're gonna go more cad. <laughs> unzip it. Who's that underneath? Oh, that's, you might recognize might. him from the screen, the yeah. silver screen. The silver screen. Yeah. And my favorite movie. Okay. Drive. Okay. I mean, come on. Fair enough. Where'd you get that T-shirt? Oh, Peter Gorday. Who's that? Oh, he's one of our OG down since day one customers in Livermore, California. Makes up T-shirts, does he? No, but he's like, hey, I know you like Drive. I saw this. I got it for you. Oh, nice. He shipped it to me. Yeah. He's a thoughtful guy. Sure. Really, really, really good Shout dude. Shout out to Peter. Love him. Yeah. Uh, what the hell was I talking about? Uh, jackets. Jacket. Uh, so here it is. This is me wearing it. It's astonishing, astounding, and it, it'll stop your mother in her tracks. Okay. Guaranteed. Is that something you're looking for? Yes. Okay. This is... Hey, why don't you spin in place while you're talking so we can see the back? Nice. Uh, these are true to size. Most, a lot of Flathead's tops are not. You need to size up. Okay. This is true. This is as if a Japanese tailor flew here and took my measurements. Did that happen? No. Okay. But I feel like it did. Okay. This is horse hide from what is widely regarded as the best tannery in the world. Is it tacky cow hide? No. Okay. <laughs> it's. How it's, is that for a callback? That is. That's taking. That's one wave, for the that's fans. Like episode two, I think. Yeah. No, this is horse hide. Okay. So, which is supple yet super tough. Yeah. That's why the best Momo jackets are made of horse hide. But okay. You get crazy character. Like, look at all that creasing you get like right away. I've worn it a lot, but. Breaks in. You think it would it'd be hard to break it in? Yeah. Totally not. Not at all. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. No breaking. Nice. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Uh, so not only is it from Shinky Tannery in Japan, uh huh. This proprietary horse hide leather. Okay. Who does that? I don't know. Uh, all the hardware. Those Shinky guys. I know. All the hardware is branded and made exclusively for Flathead. Another, you know, it's, their stuff is. Full of mind meltingly insane details. Uh, there's a sateen lining. That's a fabric I'm unfamiliar with. It's kind of like satin. Okay. Only not so silky. I understand. And now, is it in fact satin one? and you decided to say sateen? No, 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 it's different. It's a real it's thing. Yeah. Okay. And it goes through the sleeves too. A lot of times they don't 
Jackets won't line it through the sleeves or they'll take a shortcut and do a cheaper lining. Okay. No, sir. Not these guys. No, sir. No. No. Uh, it's what got, you're saying is the Shanky Boys are on top of it. Uh, well, Flathead is, yeah. Okay. Shanky Boys made the leather. Gotcha. That's where the okay. leather came from. Yeah. You can see how I might be confused. Yeah, these buckles, hit it and quit it. Yeah. What are they called? Hit and go. Hit and go. That's means, a completely different thing. Uh, it's totally different. Yeah. Thing. Hit and go. So, I mean, you can, you can, if you need to cinch it, if you need it uh, more fitted through the body, you can go. Now I'm going to have to put an adult content warning on this. Yeah. Uh, rated mature. For Yes. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, why don't we talk about the deep pocket? Go ahead. So this here guy, this is called a deep pocket. So there's a lot of debate. That's Lucy whining. I'm yeah, gonna, she's crying. I'm going to close line her here in a minute. Okay. Uh, what the origin of the deep pocket is. Okay. There's two theories. Why do they call it that? Because it's shaped like a D. Oh, yeah. So it is. See? Yeah. I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's fine. Okay. Uh, you can have Coca-Cola. Two theories yeah. on what the deep pocket is. Sure. Number one, my least favorite. Okay. Nap pocket. Okay. So, you know, when you're you're on your bike and you'd be like, where the hell am I at? You can get in here and be like, all right, where? What if you're uh, like a World War II soldier trying to infiltrate well, behind enemy lines in Germany? It's funny you say that. Yeah. Because the deep pocket originated in yeah. pilot jackets. Okay. And it was later implemented on motorcycle jackets. I understand. So that kind of makes sense. If you're in the I'm going to say that the guy in the plane versus the guy on the motorcycle on the ground is a pussy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's a badass right there. You got that right. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so it kind of makes sense. If you're up in the plane, this is in the 30s. Yeah. With the I like your planes. plane demonstration. Turn the wheel. That's good. And they're like, I don't know where I am. You're Pop like, it right out. Oh, Aaron, look, I'm in Canada. Deep. Let me put that yeah, man, is he in the wrong place? I know, he's fucking wrong, way wrong side of town. Yeah, yeah. My other, my preferred theory, yeah. and I think this is actually much more accurate, pistol pocket. Ooh, you put like a Luger in there? Yeah, you put your uh, your side piece in there. Sure. <whistles> Pop, pop. That's handy behind German lines. And then they lines. say, that also the theory, that this little pocket here. Yeah, and ammunition. Clip. Nice. Put your extra clip in there. Yeah. Or smokes. Just so we're clear, let's not encourage your customers to carry guns. Don't, no, just don't. Yeah. But it's a fun bit of trivia. Or maybe if you want to dress as like a, uh, an old-timey guy for Halloween. Sure. You could get you a little Luger toy. Yeah. And put it put it in there. Sure. Um, so, that's it. That's all you got? I think that's all I got. Okay. I really want to stress fit. Okay. There's nothing else like it. I've never put on maybe anything in my life. How yeah. Is it riding the bike? Perfect. Why? Uh, the length is perfect because when I'm sitting, it doesn't bunch. It drives me nuts. I uh, love the sleeve. I can close the sleeves up. Yep. Put my gloves on. No wind. Yeah. When it's zipped up in Rocketeer mode. Sure. There's no wind going in. Which you should also get the Rocketeer helmet. I could get a Rocketeer helmet. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the gusset. The gussets. See this? See that in there? The gussets are stitched on both sides. Never heard that word before. Yeah. Uh, so that's that little piece of webbing in there. Yeah. A lot oh, that's of jackets, a gusset? Yeah. Man. A lot of jackets are only stitched on one side. Yeah. Which drives me nuts. Yeah. Because it's caught in the zipper. Look, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So it's easy off. Then when I'm ready to go, zipper up. I ain't got to worry about getting caught. These guys know what they're doing. They really do. Okay. Uh, length, the sleeve length is perfect. Yep. I'm out here with my, my, my grippies. Sure. You Riding, didn't do that for a long time. Riding my deal? Yeah. Or maybe that's me milking stuff. Yeah. The farm. Or puppets. Or. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, wrap it up. Come on. Okay, here we go. So, fly ahead motorcycle jacket. Yeah. Four side. Yeah. Maybe the best leather I've ever seen in my life. Sure. Best fit I've ever seen. Uh huh. Here it is from the back again. Yes, it is. There it is from the front again. Show us your narrow keister again. Oh, yeah, here we go. Shake your desk for the ladies. That's it. I okay. appreciate y'all. Um, that's SOP Digest. Flathead, horse side, moto jacket. Available now. Bye now. See you next time.